Yeah, welcome back. Welcome new subscribers. Uh, we're working on the bug today, fix it now. It's over here. It was out of its spot where it was stuck for months. And now it's back on the lift where we can put it up and down and make it a little bit simpler to work on. We'll be handling all the uh, brake lines today, brake hoses, and getting the brake system up and running. I got all the parts I was waiting for to finish this job. Uh, the fuel line that runs through the car is hopelessly plugged up, so I'm going to be replacing it and running this along with the main brake line through the car. This is nickel copper. This will never rust. It's very easy to bend. Uh, I actually did an old video on using this as brake lines. It's actually a great alternative, but the price of this kit was like $22, so I'll just go with the steel replacement line for now. I ordered brake switches. Ordered the same part number and I got two different switches made in two different places. The same switch, but one is made in China, this one, and this one says it's made in Denmark or Germany. So now we have Germany versus China in brake switches. Got to keep them uh, separate. They look identical. Probably made in China too. Who knows? So let's get started. Oh, can you hear me down there? I'm going to start by taking out the master and disconnecting all the rest of the lines in the car. Some have already, at least you already did. I'm going to mark all these because the kit does not say which line is which. So we're going to pull them all out and uh, match them up to the bends that are on these. So we got a flare wrench, disconnect the lines. This is what, 11 millimeters. If you don't have one, you use a regular wrench or vice grips to get rusty ones out. This will work. Some might have already loosened. This one. Hand front. Start on the rear ones now too. I marked them. Wheel cylinder side. Once you get it out of the car, you might be looking at it and you forget which one it, what it looks like. So I know that way goes to the wheel cylinder. And that's not turning. I need a vice grip to hold the line. There you go. Any fluid? Not a drop. Look, I did find some brake fluid on the right rear. So the rubber line's gonna have to come out and it goes to, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little junction block right there that's bolted in. And then that turns to the metal line in there. It runs across to another T that ties in to where the see if I can give you some light. That's where the rear line comes in, the other one crosses over and the rubber line's connecting. Well, all that's going to come out. It would be really easy with the transmission out and with the body lifted up, but it uh, doesn't look impossible, but it may just be a little difficult. So let's get all that stuff out. For the main line where it comes in, the only thing I get in there was with a crow's foot uh, flare wrench. So that fit. The other wrench didn't have any leverage, it was up against the floor. Like I said, it's a tight spot. Okay, I got the 10 millimeter screws that are holding little junction blocks in place on either side of the car. And there's a clip that holds that brake line that crosses over the top of the transmission right over there. So I got to bend that back and then pop the line uh, off of that. And of course, it's like bent over from the top. This is like so much easier if the body was off the car, but 
obviously it's not. So you gotta kinda bend that tab out of the way to free up that line. Tab is bent down and I kind of wiggled the line back over the top. I don't know if I'll be able to hold this and show you at the same time, but we will try. Move the line over transmission and then you could pull it back down. I left the junction blocks attached. It's really hard to get in here when they're in the car to uh, try to loosen these. So I'm just going to leave them attached, obviously bend the line up, and I'll fit it back and forth with these pre-tightened when it goes back into the car. All right, now we got to get inside, release all the clips that hold the brake line coming through the car. Lift some carpeting out of the way. Got a binder clip. Hold it up. Okay, I got the little grommet out over here. That's where the line goes right outside. That's only one layer of metal right there. There's a clip here, clip there. Where's the next one? One buried under here. And there's lots of glue and tar and whatever else from the factory came out. So this is going to take a while to excavate all that junk out of there. And we got to get the line out from the front where it comes in right here. And I got to disconnect the uh, master cylinder. This layer is two layers. There's a layer and another layer. It's about, I don't know, like an inch thick in between. So let's get all that stuff out. Hard in place. Hammer time. I don't know if there's a metal clip in there or it's just a bunch of tar. Ah, there's a clip. Found it. See a little rusty thing over there. That should be the clip right there. Cracking of the bar Got the grommet pulled out on this side, and there's another one on the other side. The line is free. We got to get the master cylinder out of the way right now, so I'm gonna go inside and do that. This grommet is out, and we got to pull out the master cylinder. 13 millimeter. I have a ratcheting box wrench on here. This will take it out. Do not take the bolts out, and I'll show you in a minute when it gets out why. Ooh, come on. There are little sleeves inside that gap that the bolt goes through. 
Now you pull the bolt out and the little sleeve will fall down. So by leaving the bolts there, they all stay in their uh, happy place. I'll give you a flip over here, see? There's a piece right in there. You gotta get the boot off of there too, because it's still stuck on the other end, and I'll clean this stuff up before the new master goes in. Maybe get a little coat of paint around here too on some things, neaten it up. Okay, the line is all loose. I'll try to get it out of here in one piece. I'm gonna need to disconnect this so I can bring the line, kind of bend it and flex it up. So let's get that unhooked. It's out of the way. Now, let's see if this will come out. It's gonna come out. Gotta just straighten this bend out and pull it out. Or just cut it off. I think cutting it will be the best option. Well, here's the easiest way to get it out. Snip! I cut it. Okay, with the master out of the way, I am going to drill a hole. That's gonna be the hole for the new fuel line where it runs in. So everything is uh, clear over here. Let's get a little step drill and drill a hole. Is going to be a quarter inch but I am going to sleeve it with a piece of rubber hose to keep the line from jiggling around so that's probably right where I need to be so the beauty of the step drill is it already drilled the hole partially on the other side so now I have to go and drill from the opposite direction well the pedal was in the way so I needed extension on the drill bit to drill from the other end you could probably just do this with a regular drill bit and go straight through from uh, the other side. Okay, all the lines are out of the car. They're all marked for their location and which direction they're heading. And all of this needs to be bent into this. We'll be doing that next time. In the meantime, I painted the floorboards and any other areas that I had access to when all this stuff is out. So uh, thanks for watching. Tune in next time and uh, please like and subscribe. That's a big pile of crap over there. Did you make that all by yourself? Did you? For a little horse, you make a lot of crap.